Okay, guys. So I was over at a friend's house a couple days ago. She gave me this to have a look at. She said it wasn't working. Um, this is a... Let's see if I can get the numbers and stuff. Daisy Model 188. It is a pellet, BB, BB gun. You can see. Um, oh. So, I took a look at it, and I realized, yeah, it works just fine. She just had no idea how to use it. Um, obviously, load the BBs there. There's this mechanism in the back, which draws the BBs into the chamber. Uh, I'm not going to pull it all the way back to actually load a BB. Um... And then you got your handle here. You pull this down, and I'll show you that mechanism uh, to engage the cylinder. If I'm correct, there's a, there's a main cylinder that sits about here, and then there's a plunger type thing. And then and what this handle does is pulls the plunger back and locks it in place. And then you unlock it with the the trigger, and it shoots forward and fires BB. But, like I said, she complained it wasn't working, but that's only because she didn't know how to work it. Uh, within about four minutes, I understood how everything works, and uh, um, I told her, yeah, it does work, but I'll take it apart and give it a clean. But, I'll take it apart. I'm using my brand new screw gun. are all the same but this one on the front is different for some reason why they just didn't use the same four screws I don't know I'll just put that to the side now hopefully there, there should be a spring in the back and there's a spring here there's a spring probably in here somewhere. Hopefully I can get this apart without popping all of those springs. Hopefully I can get it apart, period. Um, I might have to do a little bit of prying here. Okay, uh, give me a second. I don't want to damage this, so I'm going to have to fiddle with it for a while. Alright, so I figured it out. I pulled this back to see what I could do here, and I noticed there was this little notch cut out. And all I did was I put the screwdriver in, gave it a turn, and the thing popped open like butter. This is a solid piece, all one. Just some mounting holes. It's actually not quite as dirty as I figured it would be. But it definitely needs a cleaning and some grease on it. Over there for now. Now. This is not exactly how I figured it would be. It's a little, a little different. So, we have our main cylinder here. This is where you build your pressure. When you pull this back, it actually pulls... Inside here, there's a plunger. Uh, probably about half to maybe three-eighths this size. Uh, and, and when you pull this, it pulls this piece back and actually retracts that plunger so it sits it right now it's sitting here and it pulls it back so it sits here and then there's a little notch in that plunger that engages with the uh, push uh, safety out of the way you can see right here there's a 
there's a little thingy when you pull the cylinder back there's a little hole in the cylinder that um, or the the plunger that locks in there when you let pull the trigger it allows that to spring back and the air cycles up through and out so see if I can start taking pieces off our safety probably can't get the trigger off till that's out take this off might be able to pull this whole assembly out maybe not that's solid in there maybe I just need a little bit of force on here no nope, I don't want to damage anything I've never taken this apart before we got our barrel I can't get that out All right, I got that out. I'm kind of stupid. Um, I figured with the plunger all the way at the back, there would be very little tension on the spring. Uh, I was wrong. There is still quite a bit of tension on it. You can see it's, uh, oh, probably 50 to 60 pounds to get that back in there. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to put that back in place, but that's okay. Um, I don't want to fully disassemble this. There's a, there's a spring pin in here. Let's see if you can see that. Um, and I don't want to have to, to punch that out. So, maybe, no, I don't want to take that cap off the back either. I'm just going to have to leave it as it is. But as you can see, uh, inside here, there's another piece. That's the that's the plunger. It sits right in here. Um, you pull that back, and that pulls air into the chamber. When you pull the trigger, it unlocks it, sends it flying out, uh, and that air is sent through this little hole at the top here. You can see that, and that is sent into the barrel. And because this guy sits at the back here, when you pull it back, that's that's all the way back right there. Um, it takes a BB. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The BBs are loaded into this side over here. It's it's a little chamber here underneath the barrel. And they slide through to here. So when this is fully engaged, it sits right there. You pull it back. It allows a BB to drop into that space. You push it forward again. And now that's a fully sealed system. You pull the trigger. It forces air through here, which forces the BB out the barrel. And... No. I'll try to get you to see through there. Newer airsoft guns have uh, what's called hop-up. Uh, it's a little piece of rubber that sits at the top of the barrel. And as the, the BB slides across, uh, it's given a little bit of backspin. Um, I can demonstrate with a screw here. As the, as the BB slides down, it would hit that piece of rubber and it would be given a little bit of backspin so that as it comes out the barrel it's now it's now well it wants to go up uh, this doesn't have it neither does it have a stop at the back here which is kind of unexpected um, let me show you here uh, newer airsoft guns also have a little piece of rubber 
right at the back. Uh, and that stops the BB. The, the piece of rubber has a hole in it that's just, just slightly smaller than this, so it stops the BB from just rolling down the barrel. Uh, maybe... Yeah, there you go. The end of that's magnetic. That's that's why it pulls the BBs through, and that's how it stops the BBs from running down there. So, this gun probably wouldn't work so well if you tried to use um, uh, plastic BBs in it, airsoft BBs. But that's basically how it works. A very simple system. Okay, guys, as I'm putting this thing back together, I'm realizing a few things I missed. <coughs> uh, first off, the barrel, although it was, it was um, sort of jammed in there with some dried grease, the barrel comes out real easy. Uh, it's probably easier to show you on this piece. At the front of the barrel here, there's just this little notch. You can see there's a flat and then a notch and then a flat and a notch. But the first one here is where the barrel sits. In order to get the barrel out, instead of trying to fight with this uh, locking mechanism here, this guy, figure that out in a second. That's, a, that's one of the other pieces I wanted to mention. Uh, instead of trying to fight getting it around this after you've taken the, the main cylinder out, if you lift up just a touch and then press forward. I don't know if I'll be able to do it on camera here. Ugh. There you go. You can just slide the barrel out by pushing it. I can't do it on camera. It, it takes a bit of uh, strength to do it. Um, and it's a little easier than trying to fight with this clip and maybe breaking something. The other thing I wanted to mention is this guy right here that I didn't actually kind of notice first off. It goes in right somewhere. There it is. It sits right there. And what that does is, as you pull this back to cock this the cylinder, it will also force this guy back. It'll 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 pull this way and then push this way, so it pulls this guy back to load another BB. Um, I don't think there's a mechanism that will push it back in. I think you have to do that by hand. I'll figure that out when I go to test fire it. But uh, I just thought that was worth noting that uh, you don't actually have to pull this back to load another BB. It does that automatically. All right, get everything back together. So the problem I ran into was that um, the little catch on the trigger that engages the plunger wasn't catching properly. I had to disassemble the whole thing again, uh, bend down the, the the catch on the plunger. Everything seems to be working okay now, but I'll just show you how it works. So, uh, safe, and you can see the trigger won't pull. We. Put that down, and that brings out this guy. And if you can see in there, you can see that shiny spot right there. That's a BB. Put the handle back up in place. Now this is armed, but it's not going to fire that BB. It will fire this BB now. Now that BB is sitting right in here. And I've, uh, I've fired this off a couple times to clear the oil out of it. You can see all of this. So what I'm going to do now is fire it directly down into the table. You can 
can see the BB sitting there. I, uh, I put some random cutting oil. I did take a look at it first. Uh, it is, it is, uh, old, but it's fairly decent oil. Um, and I put some in the little oil hole here, and I put some into the, oh, I put some into the oil hole and into the, the cylinder, I guess you call that a cylinder. Uh, and I put a little, a little bit right here. Oh, I got a, I got a BB in it. Um, but, uh, yep, yeah, everything works good. So, you guys have yourselves a good day.